flashing across the sky Like a swiftest arrow whizzing from a bow Like a mighty cannonball he seems to fly You'll hear about him everywhere you go The time will come when everyone will know the name of Champion right for the Benson Ranch. The Benson Ranch? Well, it's only about a half a mile. You turn left at the next side road. But nobody lives there. Somebody's going to live there, though. Meaning us. We bought it. I'm Hal Collier. This is my wife, Beth. Gee, then you're going to be our new neighbors. Come on, I'll show you. Well, the first neighbor we meet seems to like it. And I like him, even though we forgot to tell us his name. Don't you worry about being strangers here. My Uncle Sandy and I will help you out with everything. And so will all the other neighbors. Well, we're certainly lucky if they're all like you, Ricky. Well, thanks. But there's really lots of nice folks around here. But I'm sure you're the only one that has a wonderful horse and dog like yours. Oh, I know how lucky I am. Well, I promise to meet Uncle Sandy when he gets back from town. Goodbye. But not for long. Say goodbye for now, champ. <laughs> I hope we see a lot of you in champ, Ricky. I'll bring Uncle Sandy over as soon as I can. <laughs> I guess he wants to shake hands to say his goodbye. You're beautiful, Beth. <laughs> Adios, boy. Bye. Goodbye. It's going to be a new life, Hal. It sure is for me. And I'm going to like it. Looks like Uncle Sandy's late for a change. Might as well go back now, champ. You kind of look forward to killing a man, don't you, Murph? If somebody's after me like that Marsha we're waiting for, why not? When you get a little bit older, you get more sense. You may not want to do it, but you have to. When you get older, you get soft. You mean me. I ain't too soft. Hey, there's our Marshal. All right, let's go. That stallion. I'm looking. Yeah, just a loco Mustang. That's all. Let's get moving.
Uncle Fanny will help you. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I was just teaching Rebel to be an alarm clock. I guess I fell asleep. You guess? What were you dreaming about, me helping somebody? Helping? Oh, the Colliers. They just moved on to the old Benson place. They're gonna be swell neighbors, but they're strange around here. Oh, well, that's easy enough to fix. We could use some good neighbors on that place. Champ, that's funny. I sent him back to the herd a long time ago. What's bothering you, Champ? Something sure is when he acts like that. Let's have a look. for the coroner. Goodbye, champ. Here we are. As good a hideout spot as you'll find in the West. I don't see no hideout. That's what makes it so good. Jasper that owns this spread comes nosing around. No chance of that. This whole ranch has been abandoned for years. Some old geezer by the name of Benson. How long do you figure we're gonna stay here? For a week after we pull that job in town, till the heat's off. You sure plan far ahead, Lucas. That's how I stayed away from the law for so long. I feel lucky. How about some blackjack? How about sticking to business and letting me know how we work tomorrow? Nothing much to tell. Right into town, stick up the cattleman's office, right off at their bank row for the year's stock sales. I suppose you've got it all fixed for the local sheriff to hold our horses for us. Like you told me, I plan ahead. I'm counting on the local law to keep on trying to find out who bushwhacked that marshal. Sheriff got any idea who did the killing? No, the dead man's a stranger. No identification on him, so we can't even figure out a reason. Well, I better get to my horse and join that posse. Want me to ride with you? No need for that. I just stopped by to warn you there might be outlaws around. Thank you, Mr. North. We'll keep our eyes open. And Uncle Sandy wanted to meet you, too. Yes, I couldn't wait when Ricky told me about you. Mighty happy to have you as neighbors. Anything I can do to help? Oh, not right now. Thanks just the same. How about you, Mrs. Collier? Well, all I need right now is curtain material for these windows. Is there a good store in town? Sure. I'll pick you up and drive you in tomorrow. Oh, well, that isn't necessary. You'll be happy to do it, Miss Collier. Well, all right, then. Thank you. I'll come for you early. Come on, young fella. I better join that posse or I'll miss it. A couple of years ago, I wouldn't have believed I'd be offering to ride with a posse instead of running away from them. Don't even think about it. We left all that behind us in Texas. I look back now, I can't believe it was me. Oh, you were young. And you never killed anybody. And, well, anyhow, it's all over. Yes, ma'am. I got cured of trying to earn my living with a gun by the two best doctors in the world. Doctors? Well, the judge was a doctor in a way when he prescribed the penitentiary sentence. The other doctor was you. Oh, you're sweet, darling, but you really cured yourself. No. I couldn't have done it if you hadn't trusted me to go straight and married me. I don't want an argument on that. All right, sir. You're the boss in this family. If you say I'm a doctor, I'll be a doctor. I just hope that nice folks like Ricky and Sandy never find out about me. You know, if 
they're real friends, it might be better to tell them. No, it wouldn't be. Maybe in a year or so, I've got to prove myself first. I suppose you're right. If the other folks found out about me now, they wouldn't trust either of us. And I don't want you to suffer for something I did. much help in picking out curtain material? <laughs> well, maybe not. But I can help you get acquainted with folks. You stay here, Rebel. The boys are together over there. All set. The bank mission, you should be due any minute now. You follow him and the boys will follow you and I'll cover the street. There's the messenger now. Go ahead. around. The sheriff's out with a posse looking for whoever killed that stranger. He might be the same man. That's what I think. I'll take you home and get Champ and find the sheriff and Uncle Sandy. Come on, Mrs. Collier. Horses through, his legs swelling up. Uh, we can't make it to the hideout either a foot or with my horse carrying double. But what are we supposed to do? Sit here and wait for the posse to come? The old Benson house is just around this bend. We can hide out there for a while and maybe fix up his leg. Somebody's moved in. I wouldn't say we were out of luck. We can go down there and grab off that saddle horse. Just hope we don't run into any trouble. It would bring the posse around. That's the chance we'll have to take. Well, I'll be doggone. Yeah, I can plug him from here next time he comes outside. We won't have to plug him. He'll lend us the horse. Lend it? How come? old pal I used to work with. You saddle a fresh horse while I talk to him. you're so far from home. There was a killing in town yesterday. Were you mixed up in it? Oh, Hal, don't you know better than to ask a man a question like that? I don't know what brought you here, Lucas, but get out. 
I'm through. I'm going to live different than I used to. Yeah, I heard back in Texas how you was getting married. Turned in respectable. That's how it is. Oh, I can't blame you. I tried going straight two or three times myself once. But somehow or other, my foot always slipped. Mine isn't going to slip. What do you want? Nothing much. I'm going to borrow that saddle horse outside for a friend of mine. You're getting no help from me. Getting kind of rash, ain't you, Hal? Now, if I had a wife as beautiful as this... My wife knows all about me. Yeah? And folks around here do, too? I thought not. They might not like it if they had an ex-convict for a neighbor. Be kind of tough on the wife, too. I'm for you, Hal. But a man's got to look out for himself. Now, if you'll just let me have that horse, it'll be the last you see of me. Uh-uh. Take a look outside. My partner's not like I am, Hal. He'd as soon kill a man as shake hands, or a woman. This new life of yours could be spoiled so easily if you don't use common sense. Want to wish you luck just the same. So long, Hal. Any curtain material? You were practically in the middle of a holdup. Revel did get into it. He tore the sleeve off of one of the outlaws. What's the matter, darling? Nothing. I, I just hate to think of you being so near danger. Can I leave the buckboard here while I go to find the posse? Sure. But you're not going to get into anything, are you? Oh, no. And anyway, I'll have Champ and Revel. <laughs> I didn't hear anything. I'll go see what's bothering Rebel. Hal. Nothing happened. Nothing I know about anyway. Did you find something, Rebel? What is it? stole your horse and left his. What are you going to do? Maybe I can find out where he went if Rebel can follow the trail. Well, you mustn't, Ricky. It's too dangerous. I'll be all right. I won't get too close. Oh, Ricky must be right. That horse is all lathered up. Oh, there is something wrong. Honey, I just learned a lesson from old Ricky's doing. Take one wrong step to protect yourself and somebody else pays for it. Hal, where are you going? After Ricky. I lied to you, Beth. Those outlaws were here. Was it someone you used to know? Yes, it was. When I lied to you, I thought I was doing it for your good. That's a mistake I have to straighten out right now.
can. Rebel locates the men. Well, Uncle Sadie and the sheriff are somewhere around. Maybe we should find them first. I can't wait. I've got a special reason for tackling this job. See you later. If I only knew where to start looking. We can see better from over there. Come on, Chance. story Hal's left out. I don't care what the people around here are going to think. I'm proud of him. I think you're going to have plenty of company, ma'am. You mean you're not going to hold anything against me? The only thing I hold against you is the fact you went after those outlaws alone and gave us a lot of trouble getting you down here. Oh, shucks. Uncle Sandy didn't mean that. I just hope the other folks around won't make it hard on Beth when they find out about me serving time in Texas. Who said they're going to find out? Did you send it? Not that I remember, Sheriff. You mean you aren't going to tell people? Well, the Sheriff, Ricky, and I aren't. The only other two that know are Rebel and Champ. I'm sure they won't tell. How about it, Rebel? <laughs> and how about you, Champ? <laughs> Yeah. 